the latest design of those times. Most medieval halls, how were they heated? Medieval halls. No, it wasn't a fireplace. There was a fire in the centre in most medieval halls and a hole in the roof. And just at this time, fireplaces were beginning to get fashionable. So we've got the latest design here. And not only has it got its fireplace, but that means you can then put in a beautiful ceiling. And if you look up there, you can see it is beautifully designed and there's paintings around the edge of some of it. But some of the bosses have been carved off. And Richard can tell you why. Um, I'm going to make a confession, it wasn't me. Um, the, for a couple of centuries, the house belonged to, well, it belonged to sometimes, to the Duchess of Kingston. And she was a famous bigamist, and probably more besides. She collected husbands. Well, possibly not husbands. Um, so when she owned it, she didn't look after it, she let it. And my people were tenant farmers in most of the 18th century. And they, of course, looked after the place perfectly, as you would imagine. But um, in the 19th century, some local roughs, might be local roughs, really, they came in and they put a floor in here and they, put, they took out that beautiful screen, put the staircase, um, and sold off the bosses or chopped them off. Um, they weren't interested in beauty or architecture. Really. They probably used this as a storeroom and then lived yeah, it may be in the cattle. Because um, you have to remember that the house was owned, but it was one of a number of houses that people owned. And after the heirs left, and that was the um, Trotnell's granddaughter, it was lived in by the one family, but then after that it was let. So um, it wasn't well looked after. interesting that all your main rooms are on the north side. We wouldn't do that nowadays, would we? You should have them on the south. Patsy, um, Robert um, Floyd's wife, said... Ruby, Thomas Trotner, the man who built the house. He looks like a lawyer. Or maybe it was a cartoon, somebody was taking the mickey afterwards. Mm -hmm. But I don't think so, because you wouldn't really do that to your ancestor, mm -hmm. would you? So that could well be Thomas Trotner. Um, you can see he's got a bag and he's dressed as a lawyer of those times. It's interesting, isn't it? Lawyers in Elizabethan times made lots of money and built lots of houses. And the same in this period. But others are much more favourable. And the fact that the Hungerford family trusted him means that he was to be trusted. But in those days you needed... It was there for the fullers, and it used to have a lid on it. I think you can't see the lid, it falls down. 
And apparently Queen Mary was coming to visit here and um, the men had all been out hunting and the women and all their clothes were dirty so what did she want to do? And you can see the painting around the edge there. I've been into houses in France with this kind of ceiling from this period. It's very typical of it. And do you know, Joe, that they originally had plaster roofs, but if you show them the picture as they leave that room, yeah. the picture of it, it must have been very There you can. So some of your old furniture, the Jacobean again, a bit later than the date of the house. In, in the time of the house, mainly people had big boxes, didn't they? Trunks, they put their things in, and a few chairs, and then gradually developed into cupboards. Side. But this was the side they really had to restore. But you can see that they've done the roofing exactly like the other side. No, there is heating around, I think. Um, 